Hi, my name is Tom Mietzel and welcome to our video on how to buy a foreclosure for buyers. Uh, our website's homewithtom.com. You can go there for more information or to contact us if you have questions. Uh, we are multi-state licensed, including Wisconsin and Nevada, the foreclosure capital of the world. So we're going to walk you through the buying process in general and what it takes to actually buy a foreclosure and what you're going to experience. Now, what is in a foreclosure and REO? An REO stands for real estate owned. It means the bank owns the property. It's gone through the process and the bank has gotten it back from the original owner. So REO simply means a foreclosure. It's just a term used in the real estate industry. The buying process on a foreclosure is actually very similar. You're going to be submitting an offer on a foreclosure. Now there's going to be a couple types of foreclosures we're going to talk about in a minute. One is a foreclosure held by a bank and the other is by a government entity. But your realtor will be able to tell from uh, their realtor sites which one they're dealing with. So the buying process is pretty similar for uh, if you were buying it to owner occupy. If you're buying as an investor, in many cases, investors have a different set of rules. They can't buy the home and sell it for a quick profit in many cases. But we're focusing today on owner occupants. So the buying process, you make an offer, it's submitted to the bank, and the bank either decides to accept or deny it. Now, or they could counter you, come back and ask for more money. So the bank will typically accept offers on your standard state forms, but once they accept an offer, they're going to send you a packet of information. It could be eight pages, it could be 28 pages, with the bank's particular paperwork, basically restating the terms in their uh, vernacular. The reason they do that is the banks, remember, are working in a lot of different states, so they want to have consistent paperwork rather than dealing with the uh, uh, paperwork from 50 different states. It varies in actually every state. So the way it's going to proceed is you'll make your normal offer, you'll negotiate with the bank. If you come to terms, the bank will accept. You will then do your inspections. Uh, you can have your contingencies in there. Now a bank on a foreclosure, if you can offer cash and pay cash for the property, uh, the banks like that a lot more. Typically they'll accept cash offers for a little less money than they will a finance offer because cash always clears, they know you're going to be able to actually do the deal. However, if you do offer cash, they're going to ask for proof of funds, which means you're going to have to have something, a bank statement uh, with your name on it or uh, your investment company's name on it, showing that you have that kind of money in your account. Uh, so if you do need to do a typical, for most buyers, they're going to do an inspection, finance contingency, and then going to move to close. Now, one of the things you're going to see in these offers uh, or in the paperwork is something called an as-is clause. <coughs> Excuse me. The as-is clause simply means the bank or the agency is not going to do any work on the property. What you'll need to do is you'll actually have to go in, inspect the property, and determine if it's acceptable for what you're looking for. Uh, depending on the type of loan you're getting, uh, certain loans, VA and FHA loans, actually require the property to be in a certain condition or they actually won't lend on it. But the as-is clause doesn't mean you can't expect, inspect it. It simply means they're not going to do any work on it. Now the difference when you're dealing with a government home, let's say a VA repossession, a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, <coughs> HUD, things of that nature, is you're going to have to do the government paperwork and your realtor is typically going to have to submit your offer online. They may still have to go ahead and provide standard offer paperwork, but it will go through a website that the government has set up in order to process these. Once the uh, paperwork is in, if there's multiple offers on a property, the government will send back what's called the highest and best, which means you've got one more shot to give it the highest price that you're actually willing to pay for it. They'll then typically make a decision. Normally the processes are quick, however, if there's problems with the property, it can actually be long and drawn out. So the buying process for foreclosure is very similar to any other property, just different paperwork uh, and different decision makers. If you have any more questions, please visit our website at homewithtom.com where you can email us or call us with questions. Uh, until next time, have a great day.